it's funny because there's a lot of these the, the bikers that I ride with are like they're they're not the hardcore like you know Hell's Angels that you might picture like from the movies or whatever. They're like they're, a lot of them are actually kind of nerds. Hi, my name is Ramon Perez. I'm currently working on a Thor annual. I didn't always want to draw comics. I never thought of it as an option. It was like these comics just were magically made by other people. I didn't think it was a career where you made money. So when I first actually went to college, I ended up taking the illustration program. It wasn't until actually in that program and meeting those people that I actually thought to take this, what I considered a hobby, to something more real. So growing up, uh, my, my parents were fairly blue collar. My dad was a mechanic, my mother was a nurse. A lot of Sunday afternoons, and, I was there helping my dad as a young kid, uh, whether it be just passing him tools, watching him, him kind of teaching me a little bit here and there. When I decided to draw comics for a living, my mother was quite supportive because she kind of gave me like little rudimentary art lessons. And my dad was like, he didn't know what I was doing. He was just like, I don't get this, this makes no sense. But he was, but in, a, in his own weird way, he was supportive in the sense he, he let me try it. But his warning was like, if you try and fail, I'm not here to help you afterward. For this page being a splash page, a splash page is usually just like a dynamic page that takes up the full, either a double or a single page in a comic book. Jason Aaron wrote something simple like, you know, Minotaur transforming, Malekith in the foreground with like all these other gods kind of just going at them and he's just tossing them around. Basically when I'm working on a comic, um, whether it's digital or traditional because I kind of jump between the both. What I'll do is I'll give the script a once through and start laying it out in thumbnails just to block in the, the, the panels and the characters and how they're posed and their interactions. All the minutia. I'll then take those thumbnails and do another digital layer above the, the roughs I've done. Once that layer or that stage is done, I'll just start inking. I still don't think my parents quite understand what I do 100%. Like, I'll hand them a comic, I'll be like, uh, yeah, I made this. And they're like, oh, you made this? And they're like, I mean, no, no, I didn't staple it and print it. Like, you know, I drew the pictures. My dad and I are like oil and vinegar. We're very different. So like now my dad's retired and doesn't uh, work on automobiles anymore. But I used to motocross when I was a kid because uh, I lived in the country. So when I moved into my new neighborhood, I picked up an older bike. Getting the motorcycle, especially an older model, was definitely a way to reconnect with him. I ride over to his garage and he kind of sits by and kind of, you know, if I'm having a problem with something, he'll point out, I try this or over here. And my skills as an artist stem from that. that that's carried me forward, like that creative thinking, which is something that came from helping him, was uh, just applied in a different manner. So I think over the years, like, as much as he's kind of rubbed off on me and like the, you know, problem solving and that sort of thing, I kind of also rubbed off on him and, you know, him chilling out a little bit, accepting the different, you know, possibilities of what a career can be. Yeah, this whole world of Marvel superheroes is just like beyond them, you know. I, I, I've often joked of the day, like when I, you know, if I ever took them to a con and they like, they would just, their brains would melt, I think. They would not know what's going on. Like, they'd see people, they'd see, they'd see cosplay, they'd see like, oh, they're like, what, what is this bizarro land you've taken me to?